Hi, my name is Chanel. Welcome to my bookbinding studio. I've challenged myself to participate in the 100 day project and here's what I made in the first week. For the first book, I saw this image on my explore page and thought it was so elegant and simple and I wanted to try to recreate it myself with a book cover. Instead of fabric, I wanted to try using tissue paper because I thought I could manipulate it and uh, create multiple layers with it. When covered in glue, the tissue paper ended up being quite fragile but also strong. When I first draped it over, I wanted to create these waves with the folds, but realized it was really hard to do, so I laid it down a second time and um, intentionally folded some parts over um, and let the paper drape the way it wanted to. I couldn't mess with it more than I did because working with wet glue is always tricky and the more I worked it, the higher chance that the tissue paper would tear. While the first layer dried, I went ahead and covered the back cover. I decided to cut a loose waveform and then glued a couple layers onto the back cover. I kind of wish I teared the paper instead because it ended up looking a little unnatural. Gluing down the edges was tricky because I didn't want to squish the folds on the front side. Here I'm using Mod Podge to stiffen and protect the folds. Off camera, I went ahead and draped another layer of tissue paper on top. And finally, I used Coptic Stitch to bind the book together. The finished book doesn't look like my inspiration photo at all, so I called it the Wet Look Book. The Wet Look dress is by a designer named Dee Petza. Uh, these dresses give the illusion that the fabric is wet. I embraced it after the first layer dried translucent, and I think I've succeeded in making this book cover look a little wet as well as the tissue paper looks like it's clinging on to the chipboard. For my second book, I followed a tutorial by DAS Bookbinding. This is the stiffened paper binding and it is a German method. I won't say too much about this process, I will link his tutorial in the description below. My main motivation for learning this binding is because I wanted to learn how to make a book with a covered yet flexible spine. I'm using French Link to bind the text block and it's become my go-to method. I love this step of applying glue to the spine because I just love to fill all the gaps with glue and when the glue sets and I take it out of the press, it starts to feel official that I'm making a book from scratch. It's hard to explain, it's just so satisfying. I think every artist and maker has their own parts of the process that they love to do that seem mundane. Thank you. 
A mistake I made was to prepare the covers before the text block because it ended up being the wrong size. So I cut the width a little smaller. The top and bottom also should have been flush with the text block, which I only noticed at the very end. So the next time I try this binding, I'm going to make the covers last. Placing the book cloth on the spine was trickier than I thought, so I worked too slow and the glue ended up drying so I had to peel a part off and try again. I also wish I had better moisture barriers between the cover and the text block because as you can see there is some moisture that seeped into the pages. Overall I'm really happy with how the book turned out and I'm so glad I tried this new technique. For my third book I'm using the French link stitch again and this is going to be a soft cover journal. The paper is a 24 pound 90 GSM writing paper. My original idea was to make a naked coverless book, but I opted for fabric covers and an exposed spine. After gluing the spine, I chopped the text block so that it has clean edges. I used Japanese Unryu tissue paper to cover the spine, hoping that it would dry translucent, but it covered more of the stitches than I preferred. The cover is made of homemade book cloth stiffened with cardstock. I picked up this fun green gingham fabric from the flea market over the weekend. I put the book in the press so that the cover and the spine will flatten and set together. The book has been pressed for a few hours. I'm really happy with the result. It looks sleek and fun, and I definitely want to keep improving on this design.
For my fourth book, I had the idea of replicating a lantern, but it got too complicated because I wanted I wanted an element of light coming through. I only had one color of tissue paper, so I just decided to create a window scene instead. I prepared the covers by covering them with Lokta paper, and then I cut out the shapes of the windows. It was actually quite hard on my wrists to cut out the windows. With thick chipboard, I don't recommend cutting anything but straight lines unless you have the right tools or um, have the strength or patience. It makes me think of Squid Game Dalgona cookies where straight edges are better. For the additional elements of the window, I really just made it up as I went along. I thought that it'd be cute if there was a cat hanging out and there was a little flower pot and a bottle. And then later on, um, you'll see me add some vines and leaves on the outside. This turned out to be a super cute and super fun project and I love how the tissue paper lets light through. I'd say this was my favorite project of the week. For my fifth book, I was feeling a bit tired from creating something new from Monday to Thursday. So I decided to revisit my day three project, which was the soft cover journal. This time I'm making a smaller sketchbook and I'm aiming to create floppier covers so that the whole book would be flexible. Using the same sketch paper, I'm gluing on some end pages that will attach onto the book cloth covers. This time for the spine, instead of tissue paper, I'm using cheesecloth to reinforce it. And instead of covering up the French links, I am gluing the cheesecloth next to them. To finish it off, I rounded the corners with my corner punch. 
And that was week one of the 100 day project. Let me know which book was your favorite and I'll be back with another video next week. Take care.